close your eyes, take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Notice where the breath is most prominent, most obvious. Focus your attention there. And breathe in a way that maintains a sense of ease, openness, and comfort right there where you're focused. All too often when we focus, we tend to tighten up around the place where we're focused, which is not good. You don't want the body to be tightened up. You're trying to open things up inside, both physically and mentally. Physically means relaxing the different patterns of tension you may feel in different parts of the body. And then mentally you want to be clear about what's going on in your mind. And the best way to do that is to get the mind as quiet as possible first. So clear things out first, and then focus only on the breath. Any other thoughts that come up right now, you don't have to go with them. Get so that this is your home base, and that you can maintain it well. We just took the precepts, and they're aimed mainly at your actions outside, but your actions outside depend on your intentions. That's what we're going to watch for right here, because your intentions don't shape your life both inside and out. So if you observe the precepts, you get very clear about not intending to kill, not intending to steal, have illicit sex, to lie, or to take intoxicants. And the same principles apply inside. When something good arises in the mind, you don't kill it off. In other words, you maintain it, you look after it. It's all too often that good states of mind arise, skillful states of mind arise, and then some greed, aversion, and illusion come in, and they just kill off your goodness. So while you're meditating right here, make sure that doesn't happen. As for stealing, John Lee points out how often we steal other people's bad points. This person did that thing wrong, and that person did this thing wrong. We take it, we think, think, think about it. And as he said, you never ask them if they would be happy to give you their bad points. So this counts as stealing. You don't have to Think about anything else that anybody else is doing right now. If you're going to take other people's things, take the good things that they're offered to you, the good examples they set. As for sensuality, okay, you don't get involved in sensual moods right now. When you're coming here to meditate, you don't go wandering off being a traitor to your initial intention. In other words, that's lying to yourself. You're here saying you're meditating. You look like you're meditating, but your mind is off someplace else. That's a lack of honesty inside. And then finally, intoxication. We tend to be intoxicated with our youth. We tend to be intoxicated with our health. We tend to be intoxicated with our life, thinking that we have these things and they're going to go away anytime soon. Even when youth goes away, well, we've got our health. When our health goes away, we've still got our life. You should begin to see a pattern that these things come and they go. And what are you going to have left when they go? Another reason why we meditate is to get past that intoxication and to remind us that we really have to be active in developing as many good qualities as we can in our thoughts and our words and our deeds, so they're not heedless. When you have these internal precepts going as you meditate, then the mind can settle down and can see itself clearly, because you're cultivating good things inside, so there's no need to put up any walls of denial. It's when we have unskillful thoughts and we know they're unskillful, but we don't want to admit that we have them. That's when we put up walls inside. Things get closed off. If things get closed off in the mind, they get closed off in the body. And the present moment becomes a very unpleasant place to stay. And yet this is your home base. So try to make your home base a real home by being careful about what you do and say and think, both in your external actions and in your actions as you sit here, trying to get some control over the mind as you stay with the breath. Breathe comfortably with a sense of ease. Make this your home. And when you have a home like this, and you're well protected through your precepts both inside and out, then the winds can blow and the storms can come, but you've got a good, solid, secure place inside.